Hello everybody, this is Randall here and today we are I am commentating over my Terraria gameplay. And today's commentary we will be fighting Duke Fishron and this is not my first time um, fighting Duke Fishron as you can see I have prepared a an arena for this thing. I'm sorry if you can hear lots of stuff in the background I'm sorry I I don't know I don't know what to do about that um oh yeah I just yeah that was a complete failure of, of my part so hopefully um hopefully uh yeah that was bad <laughs> so I'm just gonna prepare some stuff like put some of this day blooms here in this little pot I put in there and just gonna organize my inventory and I'm not sure what I'm doing <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm doing but okay just gonna be making some potions and the type of potions I'm getting are like the regen potion which is up which is like awesome um uh, swiftness potions for my movement in the air gonna get a magic potion or some magic power and regeneration potions and a feather falling just for a little bit more mobility and just gonna get the bewitching table and these other stuff to help me with to help me win against Duke Fishron which would be really good for me and I almost forgot my truffle worm <laughs> so let's go and later in the video, uh, there's going to be a little montage of me trying to get a lot of um, truffle worms. So it'll be uh, a a while for it would it would just be some clips of me getting or trying to, or attempting to capture some truffle worms so I could spawn Duke Fish on. So we are. I'm oh, sorry. We are headed to the uh, the ocean biome where my angler where my angler guy is the angler, and we are going towards the uh, where my arena is. So, cause my arena is in my right side of my world, so we are just gliding through the air with my hoverboard, which is awesome, and we. And the reason why fighting Duke Grishon is because I really want to get the Razor Razor Blade Typhoon, which if you have seen my live commentary, it's, I have I already have the uh, Razor Blade Typhoon and some other um stuff that you didn't get to see. Um, so later in these commentaries, I will be commentating over uh what stuff I'm getting. Oh yeah, there's uh, the Lunatic Cultist guys. Or not the lunatic cultists, just the cultists guys. Yeah, I already fought them, but this is all pre. -re these are all recorded before I did the lunar events. So, if you wanna see how I accomplished my goal of beating them, like getting like the cosmic car keys and fighting the Martian Madness event, um, as you can see, I'm preparing my buffs. So, and here's the first one again. And I'm trying out a different strategy. So, well, I'm, I'm doing the same strategy. Never mind. So, as I was saying, if you want to see me, um, or if you want to see how I get those items and stuff, just wait until the, these other commentaries come back. So, it'll be it'll be a while, but it'll come. So, yeah. The first item I get out of Duke first run is well I'm not gonna tell you because um, I just don't want to tell you because that's a secret and you're not supposed to know what I'm getting first so yeah as you can see I'm still using the hoverboard I I did change to the fish run wings which you'll see I get um, in this video I think or maybe in a different video I'm not sure but or maybe not even in a video who knows I don't cuz I don't know as you can see Duke Fishman has two phases phase one is he is pretty slow or well, he is not slow but he's average 
Um, and he spawns uh, in oh yeah, in phase one. He's he's medium um, speed. He has a charge ability. He shoots bubbles and he spawns Sharknadoes. In his second phase, his eyes glow. His eyes glow uh, yellow, and he um, just has more damage but weaker defense. So it's easier to beat him. So, and there is the achievement for me versus F Dirk Fish Run. I finally beat him for the first time. And what do I get? The flail run, the flail run, or whatever it's called. It's a weird tongue to it. Flare run. There you go. It's like the Pokemon. Like, come on. And I really, and I thought it was actually gonna be a flail, but like a. It's like the um. It's like that one item that uh like the Golem Fist. There you go. It's like the Golem Fist, the KO Cannon, and yeah. And I'm just gonna show you the, show you the achievement. What what it says. Duke fish out of water, defeat Duke fish on, uh, and some other stuff, yeah, whatever it says. And yeah, I f that's my first time beating Duke fish on, so that's pretty awesome, you know. That's like an accomplishment to me. Like, I finally beat one of the hardest bosses in this game, like pre 1.3. I think he was the hardest boss. Bef and then 1.3 came out, and. Yeah, here and here is the weapon in use. So I'm just and yes, I am in the jungle and I um just uh yeah, this is what's happening. This is just me finding truffle worms. So you could skip ahead if you want to see it a real battle. I'll put uh time zones in the bottom. Maybe if I remember. And yeah, I'll let you i let you see the time where it skips to the battles. This, and these are just a little compilation. Uh, co uh, this is just like a compilation or whatever. I don't know. Wait, what is it called? <laughs> I forgot what it's called. Wow, I'm a horrible person. As you can see, I have also have the golden bug net, which is which you can get from the angler. For it's, it's like really weird really rare to get and i got lucky got it so that's pretty good and as you can see these clips sh are showing me uh and i can see a truffle worm but i just don't get it like this guy right here he just leaves like really but it's okay i already have one truffle worm so that's pretty good um uh, i do get more truffle worms so i'm just skipping to the parts where i see the truffle worm in the rare enemy section of the of my in the right hand side right there you see truffle worm right there and yeah i like i like that um i don't know what i'm talking about <laughs> i have lost my track of vision right here and there's the truffle worm i got him and as you can see um there is more truffle worm oh yeah that one almost got away but i got him i got him I'm just kidding. That joke is like over ready, right? Yeah. Also, I have a, a star cloak, which is pretty good. Because I also have a cross necklace in my chest. And just here, it's using the flail run. I don't know why it's called the flail run. Why well, kind of call it the flail run? But I don't know. That would have been more sense. Not flail run. That's, like that's a Pokemon. Like, really? That's a Pokemon, I think. Right? Oh my goodness. Yeah, it's a Pokemon. Flareon from Eevee. The Firestone Eevee into Flareon, which is very high uh, attack, but that's all it got. It has no defense. So. Well, I think. I don't even remember. Oh yeah, here's me getting the Cross Necklace plus the Star Cloak, and I'm just checking to see which one will be better for me. And I think the Star Veil is actually the better... Um, um, the better accessory so I crafted it and I got really lucky and got the menacing star veil and if you guys don't know what that does uh, the star veil you get more invinci you get more invincibility uh, and once you if you get hit as you see uh, more invincibility and stars fall out once you get attacked so that's pretty good that's a pretty good accessory I like it a lot 
it's one of the best accessories ever, so I'm not mad about that. So, yeah. This is, I'm just demonstrating it a lot. So, oh yeah, I like my new house right here, the teleportation. It's amazing. I'm so glad I, uh, I changed my world to make it like teleport into like doing the trapdoors so that's an awesome addition to my to my house I'm not sure if I s s said that last last time but I'm not really sure and as you can see I am just testing out the the player runs ability to attack um, some other stuff so I don't know and now it's time I am just demonstrating like the bubbles that pops out, out of the flare run. So that's pretty good. The flare run is it's a pretty good weapon. I'm just gonna say that it's a pretty good weapon, but it's like the KO cannon or the golem fist, but it's called a flail. So back to the ocean we go with my blessed apple unicorn thing. And yeah, that's pretty cool. And we are here in the ocean biome at night and we are going to take on the Duke fish run again and let's see what items we can get if we can actually kill them. And I don't have any buffs so this is going to be bad so hopefully I beat him. I'm not sure if I actually beat him this one. I'm not sure if it's a fail or not unlike the beginning which was a complete fail but it's okay. So, as you can see, I am beating Duke Fish Run using the Razor Pine, which is one of the best um, magic weapons in this time. So, I got really lucky from the other screen to drop the um, to drop the Razor Pine because that's one of the best weapons or best magic weapons in the game. So, because it shoots pretty fast, but it just and it has pretty good damage so oh yeah I'm locking my thing because I don't want to accidentally press something on my toolbar so that's pretty good on my hotbar I'm sorry what is it called toolbar? hotbar? I don't know as you can see he is taking a lot of damage and he will just turn into his second form if he gets halfway to his health and he does like flips and stuff like that. He flips and spawns bubbles, so that's pretty good. So yeah, he has a lot more attack power, but his defense is lowered just a, just a bit. So it's uh, easier to damage him. And I'm also using my specter, um, my specter armor set. Because, you know, that's one of the best armor sets in the game. Because you heal yourself. But, I don't know. It's pretty good. Um, I don't know why, but I'm... I'm, like, thinking to make a new world. Like, with this character, too. I'm thinking of just getting a new world. Oh, yeah. Here's what I got. The Razor Blade Typhoon. I was, like, so happy when I got this Razor Blade Typhoon. I was, like... Yes, I finally have one of the best items, magic items in the game because it shoots a lot better and it has and it, ho and, and it has homing abilities. So I got one of the best um, magic weapons in the game. And yes, I'm going to try his own weapon on himself. And, his, and see, as you can see, it homes in on him. It homes in, like the Razor Blade Typhoon homes in on the enemy. So... That's a pretty good, um, that's a pretty good thing to have, but the Razor, the Razor Pine has, has more damage overall, so, yeah, that's pretty good. And the Razor Blade Typhoon is one of the best items in the game, so, and you get it from Duke Fishron, which is one of the hardest bosses in this game. Oh boy. So if you can hear stuff in the background, I can't do anything about it, it's people outside doing yard work <laughs> so uh, I can't do anything about that so sorry guys if you hear stuff in the background nothing I can do so 
As you can see, I'm trying to get some some other items that can be that can be get that can be obtained from Duke Fishon. And I'm not I, I'm not actually sure what I get from this guy next, cause I know I already have the Razor Blade Typhoon and the Flare Run, but I'm not really sure. Oh yeah, if he stays if he's transforming to his second form, you just like shoot him. Like it's pretty easy. Like he just stands, he just like sits there and like transforms, which is like the I Cthulhu. But I think he might be a harder version of I I of Cthulhu. But he's like a notion version, and he like he has two phases, and second phase has more offense but less defense, so you can kill him faster. But it's pretty cool. And these shark nados are just amazing. <laughs> Like it's a Sharknado, like it's full, it's like the movie Sharknado. That's what it's based off of. So, yeah. Oh yeah, I hate that. I hated that right there. It was like really, it spawned right on me. But no matter, cause I am about to beat Duke Fish on again for the third time. Hopefully, I think. I'm not sure. Am I gonna? Oh my God! Look at that. It just spawns. It just spawns right on me. Like really, really Duke Fish on. And oh yes, the tsunami, which, which is one of the best bows in this game too. <laughs> this bow, this tsunami bow, and so I got a pirate map, which is pretty cool. You always get it from the ocean, and wow, it just shoots. It shoots a lot of. Um, it shoots a lot of. It shoots five um, arrows at a time, and I'm also using holy arrow, so that's why if you could see the. Right, if you can see the uh, the stars coming out, that's from the holy arrows. So, oh yeah, that's a lot of arrows. So yeah, see, th those are holy arrows, and I'm gonna show you this other bow right here. This thing is pretty good, but the tsunami, the the tsunami is way better. But yeah, it is actually pretty better. And here's an angler quest, cause I don't know. I'm still getting, still trying to get the the items for the cell phone, which you need like stuff on the angler. But <clears throat> you know, I don't have I don't have that kind of patience right there, <laughs> so I just don't do it. So I also have my charmer myths, which is pretty good, and switch it for the lightning boots. Um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah. Okay, yes. We are... In this, um, part of this commentary, I am gonna test out my new weapon, the, ra the Razor Blade Typhoon, which is... I wanna test out how fast we can kill the pirates. And, yeah, that I died there. <laughs> That was the first death from the video, so if you guys, I think it was the first death in the video, but I don't know. I don't remember, so yeah. We're gonna test out the uh, Razor Blade Typhoon. Oh yeah, I, I gave it uh, Ruthless because that has a ton more damage, but in the cost of uh, weaker knockback, but you don't really need knockback on this Razor Blade Typhoon because it doesn't even need that. It doesn't need knockback though. So. Oh yeah, here are the pirates. And we are just gonna use my Razor Blade Typhoon. And we are just gonna destroy this pirate invasion. I'm also testing out like how like this thing doesn't use like a lot of mana, which is pretty good. But it just yeah, it just doesn't use a lot of mana, which is pretty good because they, they actually buffed it in the 1.3 update, which is amazing. Like, like why would they buff it? I don't know, but they just buffed it, I guess. So, yeah, that's pretty good. So, yeah, I'm just gonna do this and yeah. Well, I guess I can end the commentary now. Uh, in the next part, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I don't remember what video I have in stock before I can show you uh, my actual real defeat of the Moon Lord. So, yeah, these are all like pre, pre, uh, pre.
pre-lunar event. So these are all like attempts, like way before I did the Moon Lord and stuff like that. So I also have the Martian Madness event and some other events I have. I don't know what else I, I recorded. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this video and. Be sure to like, favorite, and subscribe, subscribe to this video. I'm just gonna end this commentary and just give it up to the gameplay, I guess. So, hopefully you guys enjoy and see you guys in the next commentary. So, bye-bye guys.